Hello everybody. So I thought I'd make this quick video because I've come across something which is a bit strange in, in LabVIEW. Essentially I've been working on this project and whenever I try and build the running executable, LabVIEW crashes. And I've managed to reproduce this crash quite successfully. And hopefully it will happen now as I'm recording this. But essentially I get this uh, crash report error message. So in this video I want to show you how I solved this crash um, and perhaps help you in the future. So let's just wait until I get this crash report again. Hopefully it'll come true. There we go. So here I have the crash report and it says, you know, I'm getting some sort of exception in radio cluster C++ or CPP. And you can leave a comment to help NI. And you can also choose to relaunch LabVIEW 2020 and click send. Now my first troubleshooting technique in times like this are simply to disconnect type defs. So I'll reload LabVIEW and then I'll show you how I disconnect type defs and we'll see if that solves the issue. Okay, so my project has opened up again and if I go to build specs, open up the full build, I should now be able to disconnect type defs. So if I click on additional exclusions, and as you can see, unfortunately, I've already selected disconnect type definitions. So that's not going to be the answer to this particular issue. Okay, so let's just click OK, right click, event build, so we can get that crash report up again. And then once we get to that crash window, I'll show you how we can then look at the report and try and get some more information as to why we are crashing. Okay, so we've got this crash report again. It's the same exception. It's in radioclass.c++. Um, also, just as a side note, if anyone from NI is watching, please could you create a car corrective action request as this checkbox doesn't actually relaunch uh, LabVIEW 2020. Um, but anyway, if we look at view report, in then open up this LV LabVIEW log file, we can scroll all the way to the bottom and try and find out, okay, what was the last thing that happened in this build? What sort of made it crash? And if we scroll right down to the bottom, this particular VI has been called out. And in this case, it's the main VI for a DQMH module. It's the main VI within the module called Calibrate. So let's restart LabVIEW. And if we remind ourselves of the module we had, it was Calibrate uh, main. And so let's go to Modules, Calibrate, and then Main. And then sure enough, when I was first getting this crash, I completely forgot I put a radio cluster or a radio control here. But sure enough, there was actually a radio control. So what I'm just going to do now is right click it, Disconnect from type def here, click OK, Control Shift S to save everything. And let's try and build this application once again. So if I go to a full build, right click, build, hopefully we should now get a proper executable at the end of this. Awesome, and now you can see that the build status is complete. I've successfully created my executable and all as well. Now there's a few things I'm unsure about. I'm unsure why I had to explicitly disconnect that type definition instead of all type defs being disconnected as part of the build specification. If there's someone from NIR&D watching, feel free to leave a comment and let me know why. Also, this is a prime reason why you should all be using source code control. I'm sure most of you are, so great work. But for those of you who aren't yet using source code control, please look into it and I'll leave some links below so you can check out some literature. All right, that was a nice short video. Any questions, any thoughts, please let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.